Hello everyone, it's Tom here. Today I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily add glow to your text and images like I did in the thumbnail of this video. Okay, so the uh, principle is very easy uh, to understand and at the end of the video you should be able to do this yourself and to demonstrate this to you I'll be using Pixelmator. Okay, if you don't have this you might be using Photoshop, you might be using GIMP it doesn't really matter as long as you understand the theory behind it you can do or you can use a similar method or the same method uh, uh, using the software that you prefer okay so first of all I've downloaded a couple of things uh, or just the subscribe button on here and I've typed up uh, the word glow on Pixelmator uh, let's go with the, the easy one first okay the image is easier to do uh, these couple of extra steps you have to do with text in order to add a glow. So with this, first of all, what we need to do, we need to duplicate the layer. So you have two of the same layer, and this one is the one is on top of this one here. So I want to see, I want to change the color to the glow that I want to use. So let's say if I want a white glow behind it, what I want to do is to uh, change the color to white so if I fill it fill it doesn't matter you don't that you don't fill the middle of it as long as obviously the majority of it is white then the glow will show through okay so next you want to be uh, changing the size of the image so uh, so because the glow is is, is bigger than the images and is is coming from behind so if I change the the width slightly so it was 302 302 so if I change it to 312 let's say and because I've got the proportion uh, and constraint uh, ticked the height will also be adjusted as well so if I put the red one back on you can see that now the white is the, 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 the back is bigger than the, the, the one the red one in the front so what I want to do is to move use the keyboard left and right key or up and down key to move it so that it's evenly behind it and once I've done that then I want to, to add the effect on this white layer so to do that I can right click and change it convert it into pixel or an object and now I can add effect okay I want to have add a, a Gaussian which is a blur as you can see it's looking a lot more like it now so now I want a, a big glow maybe something like this so maybe a 18.2 or you know depending on how how much you want to have you can adjust that yourself okay so basically that's pretty much done so if you want to have a, a more natural looking glow you can then change the blending option to at the moment it's normal if you change the overlay it's a lot more subtle so it depends on what you want you can uh, you can change the, the blending option to achieve what you like I'm just gonna leave it at this Great, now on to uh, the text. Click on that. Okay, so we'll do something similar. If you remember, we duplicate the text. Now I want to work on the layer at the back. Uh, I want to increase the text size. Okay, so it's 180 at the moment. So let's say if I change it to uh, 200. So it's quite a bit bigger now. Now you was, you can see that the ah let me change the color so you can see it. So let's say I want a uh, yellow glow. How's that? So if I want to change to, to yellow, okay. Now it's yellow. You can see that unlike what we were doing with subscribe, the letters are not actually evenly spread behind the top layer. So in order to fix this we can change the spacing of the character so that is almost lined up and then we can use again the arrows so that we can make it to have the background um, evenly sort of surrounding the top layer okay if you want a bigger glow obviously you can you know, increase the pixel to make the yellow bit a lot bigger now do the, doing the same thing so I want to right click and change it into an object or up, change the pixel and I can add effect the blurring effect Gaussian again so changing the radius to change the glow differently so maybe I'll change it like this that's a nice glow again if you wish to have a more um, 
of a, a natural glow you can change it to the overlay but if I leave it as normal that's a very nice glow so that's exactly what I've done with the thumbnail here hope you find it useful now if you don't use Pixelmator yourself as long as you understand this you can apply the same yourself this may not be the, the quickest or the best method, but that's a method I've used myself. If you have a better method, perhaps you, you can share it and uh, uh, put a comment down below so I can learn from you as well. Otherwise, hope you like it. And if you do, please give me a like and subscribe. And I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you.